Hey everyone, welcome back to Cuddy's Bookshelf. So it is February's Illumicrate time. I am so excited. So we'll jump straight in. I will give you a sneak peek. The thing has already fell to the floor. But here is your sneak peek. So February's is Caged Hearts, February 2024. We'll get into that after we've seen the goods. So I'll go straight in. There's a box on top and it says House of Night Drinking Glass, inspired by The Serpent and the Wings of Night. I love that book. I am going to reread that book because I read it so long ago now that I really want to go back into it, reread it, read the little novella and read the second one. So I'm excited. I shall be using this when I do so. Um, It says, Death was everywhere in the House of Night. Right, Chris Broadbent, obviously. This is the box. So it is glass. You have a straw, but it's it's not plastic. It's like rubber. It's really bendy. I have never had a straw like that before. So that is interesting. So obviously we'll put the straw in. <laughs> and it says the same quote on the glass where it says, death was everywhere in the house of night. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see the actual design on the glass at all. Can you see that? I mean, the light. Mm. It's pretty much the design that is on the box. But I am a little bit nervous because it is like a just a little sticky transfer. And I know sometimes with condensation and stuff, you can struggle with keeping the design on the glass. So it might be one that you have to be careful with. But yeah, it is really, really pretty. And but the detail on it is very very faint so other than the snakes which obviously you can see better on the camera also the rest of it is is a very faint design so it's really hard to show when it's really hard to see to be honest but it is very nice i do like a nice glass and the next thing is in this pouch normally these are replicas is it yes it is oh this is a beautiful this is like a trident this is a replica i'm not sure where it's from i will have to look on the sheet at the end but that is stunning i love these because normally it is the swords that you get in these. So it's really nice to have something that's a bit different. I just really wished I had a stand or something to display the replicas that we get. Because at the minute I just keep them in the pouches and in a drawer. So it's not very... I'd love to be able to display them somewhere. But yeah, that is lovely. Really, really nice. The next thing is... Fairy tale feast keyring inspired by book eaters. I have not read that. I have a few things from that book now, but again, I've never read it, so maybe I should look into reading it. Oh wow! Oh, I love that keyring. So it is like a rose gold, and it's. Can you see? That is really, really beautiful. I love that. I love that it's subtle because anyone would think any book lover would like this. And I like the subtle hint that it's from the Book Eaters by a chunk being missing from it. But how lovely is that? I like the rose gold with the green. I think that's, that's really nice. Oh, that's really pretty. I love that. And then we have this. So it looks like a little pouch of some kind. 
Let me just open it out so you can see it better. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. This is not a great box for showing. <laughs> but it has this design on it that I can't really show you. Um, it's not unfolding properly. I'll need to put something in it. I wonder if, one second, I'm having an idea. I wonder if I put the package in for this in there you'll be able to see the design better ha can you see better now so i have just put the packaging for the keychain in it because obviously it's normally transparent but this is the design that is on the little pouch i'm guessing it's for like cosmetics or like traveling or whatever obviously all the rest is clear i do like the hoop for the zip that it has um what does it say on here oh illumicrate travel case so it is for traveling so you can put all of your little bits in here i mean you would be able to fit a, a strip of annotation stickers in here and um, a small pen or something if you wanted to carry around your annotating supplies if you wanted to make it a bit more bookish i am not sure what this is from but it is nice it is a nice little pouch i think i need to put something in it to try and get it to keep it sh its shape because it's it's very indented it won't stay but yeah a nice little travel pouch which you can't really go wrong with can you and then it is the book which is actually quite heavy oh my goodness to cage a god by elizabeth may i that that wow that cover is absolutely beautiful here is the spine and then here is the back this cover is beautiful and it says to cage a god is divine to be divine is to rule to rule is to destroy okay and then oh my wow oh my goodness and then the edges at the top are purple and at the bottom the purple i bought oh it's like a stained glass window that is absolutely beautiful i love that I can't get over how heavy this book is so on the naked hardback itself you have this beautiful foiling which is silver on the white very very beautiful and it continues with the silver foiling on the spine which is lovely the end pages are absolutely stunning oh my goodness so this is the end pages on the front oh my goodness the artwork is incredible oh wow and it's just as beautiful on the back this is the artwork on the back wow that is beautiful this book is very very nice And then it is signed by the author. I can't believe how heavy the book is. I mean, it's got a bit of a flop to it because normally if books are heavier, you generally get a better flop to the pages. But I think once you start reading it and breaking the spine in, it will sit quite nice. Using ancient secrets, Galinda and Sakara's mother uh, grafted gods into their bones. Bound to brutal deities and granted forbidden power no commander has held in a millennia. The sisters have been raised as living weapons. Now the time has come for them to overthrow the empire, no matter the cost. With their mother gone and their country on the brink of war, it falls to the sisters to take the helm of the rebellion and end the cruel reign of a royal family possessed by destructive gods. Because when the ruling Aluri invade, they conquer with fire and blood. 
and when they clash, common folk burn. Whilst her reunites with her estranged lover who has led the rebellion, Glinda infiltrates the palace. In this world of deception and danger, her only refuge is an isolated princess whose whip-smart tongue and sharp gaze threatens to uncover Glinda's secret. Torn between desire and duty, Glinda must make a choice, work together to expose the lies of the Empire or bring it all down. That sounds so good, doesn't it? And I bet that's going to cause some friction between the sisters because if one is in love with the rebellion leader and the other one has infiltrated the palace and is wanting to is torn between wanting to do what her sister wants which is like bring the whole thing down but then is the princess trying to say let's just uncover the secrets and then change ruler that way instead of bringing the whole thing down so i can see there being friction between the sisters because of that like they're both following their hearts but it sounds so good i'm really excited for this i cannot believe how heavy this book is i need to put, like lift some weights to get in training to actually read this book but i love it absolutely love it it's absolutely stunning really excited about it and yeah what do you think to this month's book are you excited for it have you seen it around was you going to pre-order it anyway have you brought it is it on your tbr let me know all the all the things all the things let me know so we'll get into the booklet now and it says altan's trident replica altan from the poppy war with our next collectible replica so i'm going to be a lot more excited about this <laughs> this year because i am actually going to read the poppy war trilogy i am really really excited to do so so this is going to be something that I will be really excited for then. I mean, I think it's absolutely beautiful now. But I think no, once you've actually read the books that the items are from, you get a lot more excited. So I can see me being obsessed with this when I read the trilogy. So yeah, there's that. And then the drinking glass, House of Night drinking glass. Pledge your alliance to the House of Night with this drinking glass inspired by serpents and the wings of night. Lovely. The keychain. Eat fairy tales for breakfast, lunch and dinner with this keychain inspired by the book eaters. So that one is that. We knew that. Crow's, crow's foot pouch. It's already collapsed into how it came. It's going to be a bugger to try and keep this shape. <laughs> So, crow's foot pouch. Store your toiletries or reading supplies on the go in this transparent pouch with artwork inspired by one dark window. So, that is a popular book. So, if you guessed that's where it was from when I showed it you, you was right. <laughs> and it is a book that I am going to be reading, hopefully this year. It is on my list. I really want to get to it. And then it is the book. So, yeah. Let me know what you think of this month's book. What is your favourite item? I would say mine is... Oh, I'm probably going to say the replica. Even though I haven't read the book, I think it's the thing that's come that is the best... best thing in the box. I do like the drinking glass. Like I say, I wish the design was a bit more vibrant because you can hardly see it. But other than that, I do I do like a drinking glass. Um, I'm I'm not sure on this. I it it is what it is. It's a travel travel pouch, but hopefully I get more use out of it than than I think I will. So I think my two favourites are these two. This one being my favourite favourite because it is actually stunning and. I think once I have actually read The Poppy War, I'm I'm going to be obsessed with it. So, yeah, that's my favourite. What was your favourite? And what do you think of the book? Just, just let me know all of your thoughts. And I hope that you have enjoyed this unboxing of February's Illumicrate. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more from me, please subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. This 
is the box that it comes in. I don't know why I'm singing. Wow, look at that. Let me move that out of my hand. What am I doing? So it is, it's got some sticky bits to it. Little Feast keychain, keyring. I really like, I like the rose, oh, the, I like the hoop for the zip. Oh my goodness. So it is To Cage a God by Elizabeth May. Blah, 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 blah. And it is To Cage a God. Why am I holding it back all the way back there? And it is, whew. so the edges at the bottom and the top, the bottom and the top, the top, the bottom. Oh, goodness me. And then it continues with the silver foiling on the edge, on the spine, sorry, Ugh. the front. This is the artwork on the back. With their mother gone and their country on the brink of war. But I think, no, once you are actually in the fan, fan, the drinking glass, House of Night drinking glass, pledge your ally, ally, gent. Oh, this book is stunning. You to me are everything, the sweetest song that I can sing. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's so beautiful. Beanies come say hello. Say hello. I see you. <laughs> She's so tired. I've finished filming now. We can go and have some cuddles. Yeah? Want some cuddles? Yes, loving. Oh. Okay, gotta go.